Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There is one SBC right now that's flying under the radar in FIFA 23, but you shouldn't be sleeping on it. Today we're going to talk about fodder, guys. It's moving a lot right now, but it also could be a really good investment soon. And there's one SBC that's literally easy coins right now on this game, but it's going away pretty soon. We're going to talk footies content today and a little bit about the new heroes that EA announced yesterday as a part of FC 24. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content really first here at the beginning as always. It was a day of kind of easy to complete SBCs, decent value, and just easy right one squad SPCs, right we love that easy to complete it doesn't seem that daunting one squad for Kolomani I think the reason why he's cheap is because the upgrade isn't that amazing yes they gave him the five star weak foot yes this is a good card for the value a slight upgrade over his team this season does have really good shooting stats I think a lot of people wanted a premium version though and probably a five star skill move upgrade but for the price of 60,000 coins 65k and one squad once again like we said I think it's priced to where the card actually is. This card, if you had five star skills as well, or was a premium item, would no way be 60,000 coins in this game. So I'm not complaining too much about that one. I think the value is fair for the card that you get. He's going to be pretty solid in game. Also, we had the 86 plus player pick, and I'm sure you guys noticed that the SBC section looks a little different. They reorganized everything. There's no more live tab. It is now split up between players, upgrades, and challenges, which is a little bit confusing because the thing I think EA needs to change with this is they need to put the newest SBCs at the beginning. Every single time they drop new SBCs, it needs to be ordered by most recent because it took me a little bit to find the 86 plus player pick um, because it didn't show up right at the front of the upgrade section yesterday. But that's besides the point. Another upgrade SBC that we can do each and every day. 30,000 coins to get this one done. I did see a few people packing footies from it, but a lot of the times I'm just seeing some of those Centurions, those Winter Wild Cards, and the best of Batch 1 players inside of it. But for an 81 rated squad and a Team of the Week, not too much to complain about there. The only reason that SBC is 30k is because of the Team of the Week, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Also, the 90 plus Icon player pick already came back. GG's EA for releasing this SBC. That's the one that was taken down um, after it was released on what Saturday or Sunday. I forget the day because it was giving out the heroes instead of the icons, but it is now back and you can get it done. I did it yesterday and got Pushkas duplicates. Um, I mean, that's a W pull, but of course, duplicate for me since I did his SBC and that has got SBC fodder moving. We'll talk about that, but don't be worried if you haven't seen compensation for this SBC yet. It's because compensation has not been given out. Out. only the SBC has been re put out into the game after it was taken down so that was kind of all the SBC content we had yesterday in objectives we did have some new foot champs objectives uh, for the bonus which is nice Premier League and La Liga nothing too fancy nothing too crazy but I feel like people maybe interact with these top tier leagues a bit more than they do with the Air Divisie or the MLS or Saudi League when they're involved because um, a lot of people have those cards just more naturally in their clubs. And I think there's a lot more special cards for those players that they feel comfortable with playing in Weekend League. EA also gave out free Weekend League qualification. So you can go straight into Foot Champs qualities. You do not have to play rivals. That's a W from EA. At this stage of the game, they should be giving out Foot Champs quality points every single weekend, in my opinion. And also, I just saw this when I was loading into the game. Um, we're having a maintenance today, early in the hours of Wednesday. Eight hours? Eight hours of maintenance, it says. Scheduled maintenance from 4 a.m. to noon UTC time. Uh, that's very early and that's very long. So I don't know what's going on in foot today. That might mess with a few things in terms of content, in terms of the market and prices, especially on some of the fodder that we're going to talk about. But that's a long period for maintenance. So very interesting. Not sure what EA is going on with right there now let's talk about fodder guys because the sbc right now that you have to be doing i want to point it out right away the premise of this video is you got to do it before it goes away the 81 plus team of the week tradable if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of coins maybe you have a little bit of fodder in the club this sbc costs you 11,000 coins to do it is very very cheap and currently every single team of the week player 
on this game sells for 22,000 coins, and that actually is a little bit down in price. Team Elite cards have dropped because that Team Elite SBC refreshed yesterday, the tradable one, for probably the last time because it is set to go away tomorrow on Thursday. Same thing with the Team of the Season upgrade SBC that's tradable, right? And those SBCs have been supplying tradable TOTS and Team of the Week cards onto the market for weeks now, and it's kept those prices low. Well, the demand of all the footies SBCs has got fodder prices rising, and that's a lot of what we're going to talk about today. Of course, we mentioned it in the last couple of days of videos. Whenever that 90-plus player pick was going to come out, with all the SBCs that we still had, we knew prices were going to go up, and that is exactly what has gone on in the past, I would say, like 20 hours, right? That SBC was dropped early yesterday. Your 88s finally took off all the way to 16,000 coins to where they are now. Your high-rated fodder is going up, but specifically your low-rated fodder is going up, guys. Look at 86s, 8.5K a piece. 84s are up 1,000 coins a card, and 83s are nearing 2K, 1.7 to 1.8 a card. Fodder everywhere is going up because the SBCs and the demand just keeps coming right and again we talked about it from the beginning of the week as well with the best of in packs people are getting those random 86 87s and 88s and it's getting them to go and do more SBCs guys demand right now is very very high on these SBCs but what's getting interesting is the supply is about to dry up or at least it, the SBCs that are supplying these cards on the market like the TOTS cards like the team elite tradable they're going away tomorrow and that's where i want to talk about it a bit today because it does all depend on what ea do with these sbcs but could these cards actually be going up in price once again could team of the week cards be headed to 30k plus like they were earlier this week and of course right now all of them are 22 to 23,000 coins could team of the season cards be going all the way back to 40 or maybe even to 50,000 coins a piece because every single one of them right now is 35 to 36,000 coins. If that supply goes away, there's a decent shot of that happening. So it all depends though, guys, on these SBCs. I'm not telling you right now to go and invest and we'll take a look at a couple of prices for team of the week and team of the season cards here in a second. I'm not telling you to go and invest right now on either of these two things. In my opinion, especially for the team of the season cards, I think we need to wait, right? Because TOTS cards, are definitely uh, not coming into packs this Friday, guys, right? Um, last year, I think the batch one was only one week. This year, batch one is two weeks. So there's no team of the season cards coming into packs this Friday. And our only supply would be coming from this and a little bit of supply from weekend league rewards, but not very much. And if this SBC goes away, and if the team league SBC goes away and does not come back with all of the SBCs that keep coming out each and every single day that require team of the week and team of the season cards, prices of those five cards are going to go up but i'm still waiting a little bit before we invest just because a lot of them are in demand right now now let's talk about team of the weeks a bit more first because i think a lot of people are interested in investing in these and i think i like the team of the week investment just a little bit more right now for a couple of reasons first of all they got supplied tradable yesterday and it's not like the team of the season upgrade pack that's out every single day that people can choose to do or to not do the 81 plus team of the week refresh the tradable one and it's got a lot of these guys down in price take a look at some of your 88 rated informs like these guys are 24 25 26 000 coins for a lot of them look how much they've dropped off in the past couple of days literally just yesterday kingsley coleman was 36k down to about 24 25k i think my favorite if you're going to invest in any informs right now my favorite rating to invest in would be as high of a rating as possible we're talking 87s we're talking 88s for about 23 maybe for the 88s you pay 25k that's probably as low as you're going to get them but for the 87s you can get them on snipe as some of the cheapest informs on the market right now at about 22k for me i think that's a dub right i would sit here and look for schmeichel and canales and some of these guys that are up on footbin uh as the cheapest 87 rated cards because those are high enough rated that for these squads that are requiring 85 86 87 rated squads uh, and a team of the week or a team of the season, those cards are going to rise up quicker and more often because, uh, you know, there's that higher rated squad requirement in there and you can use them 
in that SBC. So I like the higher rated informs the best. Now, of course, if you got an 80 rated inform in your club or an 81, like these guys that are popping up here is the cheapest informs at 22K. Do I mind selling those? I, I don't. Could they go higher? They could. Ooh, look at that. Osaman 20K missing that one because that's an undercut. But the supply is coming in right now in Team of the Weeks, which is why I like them a little bit more than Team of the Seasons. And I would just stick to the higher rateds, right? Again, this Osaman, yes, all these inform cards a couple weeks ago were 17K. With all the SBCs that we have out right now, he was 35, 36,000 coins, just like um, Kingsley Coman was just a couple days ago, right? I'm keeping an eye on this fodder and I'm more interested in it than I am in Team of the Seasons. But Team of the Seasons, I think, have a higher ceiling. I just think we maybe have to wait for some sort of maybe supply on Friday as people finish their weekend league right away and they get some of their TOTS cards in packs from rewards and maybe those drop a little bit and then we have an opportunity to get in on some of those. And if you're going to buy a team of the season card, what do you need to look at? You need to look at 92s because those are the ones that are getting supplied the most. 92 rated cards. If we take a look at like Friday, what did he do on Friday? Kolomani. Okay, he went from 30K all the way to 35 and TOTS cards have been around 35K the whole week, right? Kolomani, yeah, he was 31 on Monday, yesterday, Tuesday, reached 37K. Tots cards, guys, again, we knew, we know how high Tots cards got um, during, uh, right before footies and during shapeshifters, right? Or maybe that was in the end of Ultimate Team of the Season, or the beginning of shapeshifters. All these Tots cards were like 50, 60, 70, one point, like 75,000 coins because a lot of them were extinct and still a lot of them now have max price ranges at 60K. So, I'm just talking about this in length today, and I'm talking about it a lot because we are going to still need Team of the Week and Team of the Season cards in SBCs for the whole rest of footies. And they're not in packs as a part of the Batch 2 yet because that's not even this Friday. That's next Friday. So be very careful with TOTS cards investing in them or Team of the Weeks, but I think there is an opportunity that is forming here. If they re-release these SBCs, the price rises and the prices themselves will not hold up too much. That's why I'm probably holding off on investing just yet, uh, unless it's Team of the Week cards. Again, the problem with Team of the Weeks is they could just re-release the Team of the Week tradable SBC on Thursday once again, literally just refresh it, and then boom, you've got more supply and that will make the prices drop. So you can wait on those if you want. You can wait on Team of the Seasons if you want, but that's what I'm saying right now. Keep your eyes on this space. Watch this space, as they say because there's going to be some movements there because they are in demand for SBCs a lot. So that's enough talking about SBCs and that's a lot of talk about it, but it's very important because that's the part of the market that is moving the most right now. Now let's talk about today, Wednesday. Let's talk about the market just a little bit more. Level up cards. This was the day last week where a lot of level ups really started to tank and we're seeing prices go down a little bit, right? Goretzka was around 1.3 million coins, I believe. And right now he is currently under 1.2. So there is a bit of price droppage, if you will, on some of these level up team two cards. Goretzka 1.19, Martinelli 1.1, Varane is under 5 million coins, Nunez back under 200k, and Chalmany is 700k flat. So I wonder if that has anything to do maybe with a little, little bit of the maintenance. People guessing they're not going to be able to list up their cards. Again, the maintenance for eight hours, that's kind of crazy. But also, it might not last that long. Wednesday was the day last week where these cards really started to drop off. And honestly, that might be the case again today as i'm looking at a lot of these prices they're starting to dip so just be careful with those if you've got your games in ggs because from here on out towards the end of the week i would expect these guys to keep dropping now wednesday content today what sbcs are we looking for what are we watching for well wednesdays have been 93 plus uh, sbc days right the 93 plus shapeshifters um and tots pack has been out in the last two weeks, I believe, on Wednesdays. It's going away today. We expect it to come back. They did this exact same thing last week. It went away. It came right back, and they made it even cheaper, right? This used to be 88 and 90 rated squads. Now it's 87 and 89. Still requires a team of the week and a team of the season, though. So keep a close eye on that today. Higher rated fodder could continue to go up if we get this SPC back. Maybe they change it up and give us something else. But um, I would I would expect to see something along the lines of a refreshed SBC like this today or some other sort of pack, maybe a player SBC. But since we've had St. Juice Day, Cahill and Kolomani, not entirely sure. I feel like we're doing another transfer SBC soon and the McAllister card does go away today. So today, tomorrow, watch out for a transfer SBC, whether it's a leak first and then a player being dropped or maybe no leak at all and just a player being dropped in the game. Watch out for that. And then maybe just maybe 
team two of footies, right? Team two of footies is different than the best of batch, right? The best of cards are out for nine more days, as you can see. Team two with Ronaldo, Alvarez, Joe Gomez, those guys are going out of packs on Friday. Maybe a loading screen today to tease at what team two of footies could potentially be looking like. So that's kind of everything right now going on in EAFC, or sorry, in FIFA. I do want to look at EAFC though, because I'm sure you guys saw this. And we talked about it on stream yesterday, but I want to go over it really quickly here because, I mean, we're going to get more information with Heroes upcoming throughout the rest of the summer. But this is really big, guys, because not only are we getting a bunch of new Heroes, uh, they look like, again, the Marvel theme and some of the really good ratings are going to be a part of this, right? The ratings, but no individual stats are being shown on these cards, but the ratings and the leagues. Tevez is Premier League. Uh, Viali is Serie A. Schneider is Syria. Lisa Razu is Bundesliga. I think that all of these heroes, honestly, that got dropped yesterday and announced the first five of 19 new heroes. Um, I, I think all these look honestly really usable. Viali might end up being a little bit of fodder. Um, Lisa Razu, I think, maybe has potential. I hope he's kind of like a challenger to that French left back spot between Ferland Mendy and. Um, Teo Hernandez, like they've kind of got the French left back spot on lockdown. Maybe he's going to be captive via type of level. Wesley Snyder, I feel like might be usable at the beginning. He could end up being fodder if he doesn't have enough pace. I'm a little curious about that one. And then Alex Scott, um, I don't know what to expect with Alex Scott. I'm so curious to see 88 rated, so a little bit lower rated than some of the lads. Um, but I'm curious to see like her pace because I think a good comparison here as she is a right back. Will she be as meta or close to meta as like a gold Kyle Walker at the beginning of the game? We don't really know. Now, again, these cards are not going to be the ones that come out at the beginning of the game. These are the Champions League versions, guys. These are the Champions League versions of the cards. Picture it just like we had last year with the World Cup cards, right? Those came out in November and they were upgraded versions for not all of the heroes, but some of them. But all of these heroes still had base hero versions. That will be the case for all of these new heroes as well. Each will be celebrated with a base version. But then these, of course, of the new 19, all will also have UEFA Champions League or Women's Champions League Marvel featured versions. So very similar to last year. Um, if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition of the game, we will be getting our hero pack on November 27th we'll be getting our free hero pack there so look for news of the heroes continuing to be announced and uh guys i mean we do have a list right we know of some of the heroes that we expect to see the leaked list from what we've seen now for weeks vincent company rosicky berbatov in there um Futre, and then we've got two icons moving to heroes rui costa litman and uh and then there's some other names that have not been 100 percent confirmed but also very possible ramirez right ramirez is a um hero that is in um fc mobile or fifa mobile as it was formerly called a lot of these guys have been confirmed i'm pretty sure aguero was confirmed as a fifa mobile hero as well in the eafc mobile like 24 so he's probably coming to foot as well um nakamura Tehran, robin demarcus beasley still some names up in the air but right now as you see this tweet from donk kind of summarizing all the heroes that have been leaked or confirmed by ea there are 16 of 19 so a couple more to come, three more exactly, and we'll probably figure out some of those names here very, very soon. Watch out for more EAFC 24 news today. On Wednesday, I believe we might be getting a pro clubs. No, sorry, not pro clubs. Um, career mode. That This career mode deep dive might be today because it is the 26th of july and it's probably the last wednesday that they would have to release some info on this i think it was last wednesday we had the gameplay deep dive so watch out for maybe some career mode news today and then for the next couple more weeks match the experience ultimate team and clubs so be watching out for ea tweets today with some more information along those lines so a lot to talk about in today's video guys but there's a lot going on in this game if you want to really care about the fodder and if you want to care about the market just a little bit because I know for some of you guys right now, it's still login, log out, contents mid, players and packs mid. And I understand that. This is not the footies of old that we really wanted and expected. But I'm starting to get my hopes up for still that end of an era icon design and a 99 rated footies messy. Drop that man in SBCZ Sports. Or, or we're going to have some problems, all right? So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. Link is in the description if you want to check that out. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace.